Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm here for the second time now with Haley Knox. Hello, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm super excited. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. For, this is cool. I just played a few songs. It's, it's you did? Yep. Yeah. And they, they sounded awesome. And I remember uh, the last time that you were here, um, super impressed with your, your guitar playing skills again. Thank you. Uh, just amazing. I think I played Traumatide last time I was here too. You did, and 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 and, and I remember because of the trumpet um, mouth, I think. The trumpet, uh, yeah, mouth trumpet, trumpet mouth, yeah. yeah trumpet mouth sounds more <laughs> like a like an illness. Yeah. Like he caught trumpet mouth. <laughs> yeah. It didn't go I call well. it mouth trumpet. Womp, womp. Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you. Where'd you learn these sounds? Uh, the trumpet, I don't really know. I think I saw Ingrid Michaelson doing it once on a video or something. Maybe I picked it up from her, but I used I used that loop paddle thing, so I kind of have had to figure out different sounds to incorporate when it's just you and a loop pedal. So I did a little beatboxing, some different sounds just to make it more entertaining. You recently played a show um, in New York City right before your EP dropped. Um, I think it was at Public Arts yes. in November. Um, was that just you solo as well? That was actually new. I had played with a band. I had a Drum drummer Nick, my friend Nick on the drum kit, which is it's so fun having people up on stage with you. And I had a female bassist too, so it was like really cool. And it's just nice. It's so much like the energy is there more, more much with a lot. The energy is much there more. That really makes no much sense. Similar. But it was cool having people on stage with me. It really was a lot of fun. Was that a one-time thing? Um, I did a few shows. We did Austin City Limits together, which was really cool. And I'm so used to opening, so. I had like an hour set at Austin City Limits, so I was like, we gotta get the band together, so it was really cool doing that. Well, you're used to opening, but I believe just today it was announced uh, you have a headlining tour. Yeah, it's pretty scary, but I'm Kicking off in February, what's yeah. the deets on that? Um, It's just cool to say that I'm headlining. I mean, again, I've really only done tours where it's an opening for amazing acts, and it's cool that I have my own tour. That's yeah. super cool, where are you gonna go? <laughs> drawing a blank as to where, but there's a lot going to a lot of cities that I can't wait to get back on the road. So if you live in a lot of cities, make a sure to catch cities. Haley yes. Knox. When I spoke with you last, I guess it was last spring, um, a lot has happened. You had the Hardwired mixtape come yeah. out in November. Mm -hmm. um, for those who haven't heard it yet, how would you describe it? I mean, it's kind of a bunch of songs some from sitting in my room and I produced myself, which is weird because I've never released anything I produced myself. So there's like little interlude songs and full length songs from three years ago that I've played on tour for the last three years. Um, but were never recorded? They, they've been sitting around and I have, we've been trying to figure out production for so long and now it's, it's really cool to be able to be like, yeah, they're out there. Because even with Traumatized, which I played, like that one I've been playing forever and people tweet me like, When's that one coming out? So What's that like though? Because I feel like we're almost in an age where people, they gain the notoriety from the recordings that then get circulated. But it sounds like you've just been playing live and there's these shows and people that, that know the songs and, and, and really like them. And then you, you're getting around to recording them later. Well, I mean, I love, I love just playing, even on live streams, doing new things and sharing clips of new snippets of songs. And I just always want to make sure that a song is, you know, you can draw somebody in from a lyric, a melody, and just a guitar. And that's kind of how I've been writing recently, just guitar and my a friend helping me co-write. And but I mean, production is a scary thing because sometimes it can take it to a whole different world. And There's so many you know, options. Too many sometimes. It's like limitless, you know. Yeah. But I guess I'm. Try I think I'm trying to go maybe more soulful. Route, I think in the future, if I do a full length album or whatever it is, I'd like to be in the more soulful. Where I don't know. I change up my sound so much, especially with this mixtape. You kind of get a sense for. I like so many different genres. Why is it called hardwired? I'm, why is it called hardwired? <laughs> It's <laughs> so one of the songs on the mixtape is called hardwired, and I think hardwired that song is one of the one of my favorite songs I've written. And I feel like it's the most me, and just melodically and lyrically is one of my favorites. And I think it's one of the stronger songs on the mixtape, so that's why we named it, named the mixtape after that song. What is the message? I mean, it's kind of 
it feels like a journal entry in a sense where the verse is almost like a list of insecurities and just oh i've got some insecurities yeah. <laughs> if you want to listen to insecurities i mean <laughs> yeah but um it's just about feeling different and feeling like sometimes being nice can be, people take it the wrong way and you're sometimes i don't know taking advantage of for being nice that's why yeah. i'm never nice yeah don't ever be nice <laughs> pro tip yeah you're watching out there don't be nice don't don't, don't, don't do it it's honestly it's like what are you trying to prove do you have any more like recording scheduled now or is it all about this upcoming tour well i i just got back from writing in la which was only very cool and i'm always creating wherever i am so i think i'll always uh, i'm always writing and making new things and that's where i what i love i love to just be in a room with a producer with another writer and just come up with ideas um, but so yeah I, are most of your projects collaborative in that in that way Sometimes, or sometimes I'll start something on my own and have somebody else help me kind of complete the idea. Or, what yeah. do you do if you don't like the idea that they or that they suggested? If you're like, you had something in mind, and they're like, yeah, but what if we... I think it's a team. I mean, you always have to... They just stand your ground? Yeah. I mean, especially if I'm going to be singing it. I want to make sure I'm like, you know, you know I'm going to be the one singing it. That's true. Yeah. I've never written for somebody else, though, which is, I wanted to try that. So I had you in LA just for the, the writers and the producers that are out there? Um, yeah, I stayed with actually the, my friend Maggie, who I wrote Hardwired with. Oh, love Maggie. Big She's fan like, of the show. Yep. So we actually wrote Hardwired on a hotel floor, like while I was staying there. Um, it's probably maybe... Were there no chairs? No, we just liked the floor and we had cookies and it was just like a cozy little spot. And we just, you know, we weren't thinking. And I think when you're not thinking, the best things come when you're writing, you know? When you try to like force something, it's like, uh, huh. you know, you can't force us, you know, we're going to make a hit. Yeah. When you're not thinking, I think the best things come. I like that. Don't think, don't be nice. Yeah. Don't use chairs. Uh, and do you like LA? Because you're, you're from New York, not from yeah. the city, but upstate. I do like LA, yes. I mean, I'm not a fan of the cold, so that's fun. And then there's just so many amazing creators, writers, producers, people out there. It's nice. I'm always super busy while I'm there. I'm not a big fan of the cold either. Yeah. Actually, I got this shirt at the Hollywood Goodwill. And then I wore it when we shot a video out in my, the desert outside of LA. Wow. Desert Wizard. That's cool. That's a fun fact for you. And you wore it that day? Yeah. yeah. I bought it the day before. Um, and then, yeah. Wow. Where did you buy your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I buy my clothes random places. I like Marshalls. Marshalls is great. Shout out to Marshalls. our sponsors. <laughs> Marshalls. Walmart. So, I, I remember last time, I think we were doing the interview live feed. I think you had a lot of fans engaging. Um, how do you how do you manipulate people into liking uh, you and what you do? I mean, I kind of just get into everyone's brain. I'm able to just really manipulate pretty well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really, mani I feel manipulated for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I just um, try. I try to be me on all platforms, and just I don't know. I try to not put on a weird like somebody else. So. But what if you did? Have you ever considered doing like a? I thought about going on stage and doing like just a really bad show just to see the reaction. Which is, that's a weird thought. Just to be up like, eh, just do a weird. I think it'd be so funny. That'd be really funny actually. Just to like mess with people. I was thinking more like an alter ego. Like you come out wearing like a top hat and you're like, I'm I I'm Naily Hawks. That would be cool. And everybody's confused. I could be my own opener one of the nights on the tour. I'm a from just yeah. make up something. Yeah, just sing all these songs in that voice. <laughs> yeah. And like have no real word behind it. Just like I don't know. Very weird. But it would be interesting to do an alter ego. I don't know. I'm just trying to give you ideas, you know. Yeah. I hope you out. <laughs> so we would like to shout out to our sponsors, BuzzFeed and uh, Marshalls. Okay. Log into as many people as you can. But hey, download uh, the Hardwired mixtape uh, right away or stream it. Yeah. Whatever kids do these YouTube days. It. YouTube it's it. And uh, definitely follow Haley Knox. And she's going on her first headlining tour in February. Yeah. She has no idea where she's going. <laughs> so it's going to be a wacky adventure. Yeah. Follow her online uh, on Instagram and stuff. And then I you can find out where things. she goes. 
You know, if, if she comes close to your city, yeah. just get ready. It's gonna happen.